Okay, this is not an official class video. I just thought this might help you. So um, this tissue chapter, students definitely find it challenging, right? It's a bunch of new terminology, big words, um, and a lot to memorize. Now in lab, you're looking at all these tissues under a microscope and you're kind of training yourself, learning this new skill of looking at a tissue microscopically, right? Studying the, the histology and being able to recognize, okay, this is this tissue or this is that tissue, okay? So you need to know the names of all the possible tissues. You don't get a word bank in lab. So we're gonna make a little word bank that also might help you on your lecture exam if I asked you a question like, tell me all the tissues, right? Now you'll wanna dive into those tissues deeper and know details about them, but hey, the first step is just like, man, do I know the names of all these major tissue types um, that are covered in this chapter. So let's try it. So we're gonna start with the four main tissue types, right? And so those were, and here's another thing you can do. Anytime you want, hit pause and see if you can write down or think through what I'm about to say and then start the video again, right? So our four main tissue types were epithelial, connective tissue, nervous tissue, and muscle. Okay, so those are our four main groups. Now we dove in further here with epithelial, right? And we actually talked about eight, right? So we broke this first into simple, which meant it had a single layer and stratified. So then I can go through and list, there were four simple tissues. There was simple squamous, and I'm just gonna abbreviate with an E for epithelium. All right, those were flat like a pancake. Simple cuboidal, A single layer of cubes, simple columnar, and the oddball, the pseudostratified, right? The fake stratified, pseudo stratified. The only example you're going to see is the ciliated version, ciliated. Pseudostratified, ciliated columnar. So I had to stop and picture that, right? So those are our four simple. Move my stratified down a little bit. And then we can do the same thing for stratified, right? So there was stratified squamous. stratified cuboid cuboidal stratified columnar right so you start seeing the patterns here and then our last stratified was the one that goes back and forth from squamous and cuboidal and so it is called transitional epithelium Right? Now you don't have this or this to look at in lab, but you would still list that out, say in the lecture uh, portion if I asked you about all these tissues. Okay, epithelium. So then we go on to connective tissue. Now there were four types of connective tissue. I may need more room. Four types um, of connective tissue, right? We had uh, connective tissue proper, which had loose and dense forms, right? Three of each. And then we'll do cartilage, um, bone and blood. But let's stay with connective tissue proper. So the loose forms, 
Let's see if I can do this. Our um, areolar connective tissue, reticular connective tissue, and adipose. The dense connective tissue proper was dense regular connective tissue, dense irregular connective tissue, and elastic connective tissue. Yeah. See where we're going? And this is kind of fun. Like when I look at this, I look for patterns. I'm like, well, there's three in the oddball, three in the oddball. Or maybe you just go, hey, in epithelium, it's four and four. In connective tissue proper, it's three and three. We had cartilage, right? And if you recall, um, there were three different types of cartilage. So that kind of follows our three and three rule here. We had hyaline cartilage, we had elastic cartilage, and we have fibro cartilage. Okay, cartilage. Continuing on in connective tissue, then we had bone, which is bone, and blood which is blood. Okay, so then we move on. We had nervous tissue. You can organize this however you want. New nervous tissue and muscle. And there were three types of muscle. We had skeletal muscle, cardiac, muscle and smooth muscle, right? So what you want to be able to do, right, when you walk into that lab practical next week, if you look through the microscope and you don't even know these words, you don't stand a chance, right? So practice writing this out. In fact, and Marianne would be totally fine with this, you could walk in, turn your answer sheet over on the practical, and write this whole thing out if you want. Make your own word bank, right? And then as you're looking at the tissues, um, what you have to do is decide, okay, what tissue is this? Or even at least get yourself in the right realm, right? And then try to pick between a few of those. Do recall as well as you're studying for that, um, that mastering AMP has some really good images of those slides. So you can look at that. Heck, you could photocopy, color photocopy the images out of your textbook, turn them into flashcards, right? Whatever you need to do, okay? But for lecture, think about this. Like, I might say, hey, tell me all those tissues. You can then also use this to continue studying. I would not put this in the same five-point question, but once you have this written out, maybe you grab a different color and you start going through and you're like, okay, huh, where do I find simple squamous epithelium. And I'm gonna go with um, the alveoli in the lung, right? And where do I find simple cuboidal epithelium? And this is in the kidney, right? And so you could go through this whole list and you could give an example um, of location, right? Or grab another color and come back, I don't have another color, come back through, right? And maybe say their function, right? Whether that's support and protection and transport, right? Or, pumping blood, propelling uh, food, those sorts of things, right? So see if that helps you. If not, you can totally ignore it. Okay.